It, but but also on the other hand, sometimes it's kind of like a whakama, uh, you know, too shame to share that there is you know, that kind of things happening, you know, mental health. So for me, I thought life was just cruising and you know, do whatever you want. So I I was involved and in, believe it or not, I was involved in the game back in West Auckland and. Uh, so I, I don't have a good name at my school and I hated the name Biliami because that was the name that was everybody known by and uh, you know there are some uh, celebrities right now in New Zealand who we grew up together in West Auckland and we went to school together and, um, and they know my life, they know my story, um, how I was and you know when and I, it came, so I dropped out from high school. You know, I finished from school, but I never passed any, I didn't pass school C or any of that. And uh, to be honest, my, you know, my English was really, really shocking, terrible. Really, I was, hey, I'm the, talking about fresh, I'm the real deal, fresh. I'm, I'm still fresh every now and then, but, you know, I was real fresh off the boat. I mean, you know, I thought, Liar is lawyer, so I, I everybody lies. I said you lawyer, you know. So, but it came to a point where, um, and I was in a, you know, um, going towards the end of my schooling years. Uh, I was always in the lowest class, and where all the naughty kids are, and uh, you know, it just makes me wanted to punch someone, or to give someone a high or do something bad, because I I thought that's who I am, you know, who I was and. You know, I was also told that I'll never succeed. You'll never succeed in life. You're useless. Look at you. You're, you know, just um, one of my teachers. But anyway, um, so I believed in all of that. Um, to be honest, I wanted to end my life because of all of that. I thought all my friends, they're in the All Blacks. They're all doing all of these things. I'm useless. What, what's the point, you know? Um, is the big shot there thinking he's a games leader and all of that. What's the point? You know, and uh, I just wanted to run away from home. I wanted to run away from, from life, everything. I guess um, the thing that changed me was, was um, I, um, I met my, uh, uh, I met a close friend and um, he was doing well. And that's how I started. And um, I went and um, I started hanging out with him. So, and so hanging out with strong, positive peers is really, really important because that's what I did. I start hanging out with this person, and uh, you know, I started to turn around because every time I say, "Oh, let's go for a drink, let's go for a party, let's go to clubs," and he goes, "Ah, oh, nah." I'm gonna stay home. Why? Because I wanna. I, I, I'm playing sport and I'm doing stuff there. So I said, oh, okay. And I thought everybody else that I hang out with and I see what they're doing, uh, they're doing really well. So that's how I started slowly to turn around because of the positive, positive peer that I, peers that I, that I had. So it wasn't just one person, just a couple of them. Um, one, one hope for, for the Tong community is um, give, keep believing in your dream. Never let in anybody or anything takes away their dream. Like what had happened to me in the past. I was told that you can't. You know what? I am achieving a lot of my dreams right now. I've got a great wife, great family. Um, I'm, I'm working in the community. You know, um, I'm a pastor now for 18, you know, more than 18 years. Uh, I, I serve in the community and, and, and I work with youth offenders uh, and, and I love it. 